Colossians chapter 1 verse 10 And we pray this in order that he may live a life worthy of the Lord and may we place him in every way pairing fruit in every court work growing in the knowledge of God while talking about living for Jesus here on earth Jesus gave responsible to all who believed in him we have a responsible if we really love Jesus John chapter 15 verse 14 and 15 you are my friends if you do what I command I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends for everything that I learned from, from my father I have made known to you. Again, while talking about living for Jesus, it is important to be noted that Jesus promised us to comfort us and guide us if we believed and follow him. John chapter 14 verse 16 and 17 And I will ask the Father and I will give you another counselor to be with you forever the Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither says him nor knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. The entwining of the Holy Spirit is the action by which God takes a permanent residence in the body of a believer in Jesus Christ. Jesus revealed to his disciples the new role the Spirit of Truth would play in the lips. He lives with you and will be in you. John chapter 14 verse 19 Before long the world will not see me anymore but you will see me because I lived you also will live. So now, to live for Jesus, the best way is to look in the Bible for example of how Christ lived and try to be as much like Him as possible. Living for the Savior is more meaningful than living for ourselves. Awesome. Here are 10 steps you can take today to start living your life for Jesus. Number one, spend time praying each day. Sit aside a quiet time for prayer. Prayer is how we build a personal relationship with God. In fact, there are several times when the Bible describes Jesus going to a quiet place to prayer. If the Son of God needed prayer as part of his spiritual life, imagine how important it is for us. Follow Jesus example and make it purity to spend some time each day talking to God and listening for his guidance. Number two, serving others. Honor Jesus by giving your time and energy to other people. Jesus fed people who were hungry, held people who were sick and even humble himself enough to watch someone's feet. If you want to live your life for Jesus, treat others the way he did by helping them when they are in need, forgiving them when they do things wrong, and loving them no matter what. Share the caps God has given you as a way to serve others. Number three, study the Bible. You have to understand God's word to live for Him. Try sitting aside a little time each day to read your Bible. At least 5 to 10 minutes can help you understand the love of Jesus. It can help to do this at the same time every day, like as soon as you wake up on your lunch break or before you go to bed. Number four, share God's word with other people. Tell them about God's love and Christ sacrificed. When you are spreading that love, you are truly living for Jesus and making him the best purity in your life. In Matthew chapter 
5 verse 14, the Bible says, You are the light of the world. That means it's your job to share the light and hope of God's word with the people around you who are living in sin and hopelessness. You could also share your testimony of how God has done in your life with the people you meet. Number five, resist temptation. Prayer that God will help you be strong against sin. Being a believer in Christ does not mean that you will never be tempted to sin. When you get saved, though you, you have given the gift of the Holy Spirit, which will guide you to know what is right and wrong, and your faith in Jesus will give you the strength to make choices that will please God. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 13, Jesus prayed, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You can use this same prayer when you are asking God to help you avoid sin. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13, the Bible promises that you have you have the strength to overcome the arch to sin. No temptation has overtaken you that are not command to man. God is faithful and he will not let you tempted beyond your ability. Number six, put God first. Make him the most important thing in your life. God's very first commandment is not to put any other gods higher than him. However, it is more than just not following another religion. It means not having anything in your life that is more important to you than God. Ask yourself, where do you turn when you are upset? What makes you the most excited in your life? Those things glorify God? In Ezekiel chapter 14 verse 3, the Bible describes idols as things that will make you fall into sin. If you are willing to lie, or steal, or cheat, to accomplish, or obtain something, it is almost certainly an idol in your life. However, the sin might be more subtle, like getting angry or being jealous of someone else if you cannot have it. God is all-powerful and all-knowing, but He is also loving and forgiving. He wants us to live for Him. Number 7. Don't bought too much wallow in material things. When you are living for Jesus, Remember that your call is ultimately to join God in heaven and to do as much as you can do to serve Him in, in the meantime. You can have nice things and you can even enjoy them. They are blessing from God after all. Just don't let them pursuit of them distract you from serving God. Number eight. Trust God's plan. Look to Him for guidance, even when times are hard. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28, the Bible promises that everything you go through is part of God's plan for you. And we know that for those who love God and all things work together for good, this is true even when you are faced with incredible struggles like sickness, poverty, or the loss of loved ones. Just keep praying that God will show you His will and that He will be glorified through whatever you go through. Jesus showed us this when He wept as He mourned the death of His friend Lazarus. Even though he was about to bring him back to life. In Matthew chapter 22 verse 39, Jesus even prayed that God would help him avoid being crucified. And yet, he still acknowledged the perfectness of God's plan when he said, Not as I will, 
but as you will. Number nine, spend time with other believers. Rely on each other for support when you need it. Jesus was the perfect son of God, but he surrounded himself with companions, not just to teach them about God, but to help support him when he needed it too. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 38, as Jesus was facing death, he asked his friends, Peter, James, and John, to join him as he prayed. That's really powerful illustration of why we should spend time building strong loving relationships with other followers. When you meet together, spend time praying, reading the Bible, and listening to each other, that fellowship will help you all grow as you follow Jesus. Number 10. Have loving relationships with non-believers too. Jesus spent time with both sinners and believers. Being a believer in Christ does not mean shutting yourself out from anyone who does not believe the way you do. Spend time with them, listen to your problems, and be there when they need you. As they see Jesus working in your life, it may make them more curious to learn more about him when they are ready. For instance, if you have a friend who does not go to church, you can invite him to yours. Show Jesus love by encouraging and motivating others instead of criticizing them or put them down. Furthermore, to follow Jesus, he made his requirement clear if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take off his cross daily and follow me. Luke chapter 9 verse 23. Carrying a cross means we are dying to our right to be our own boost. We cannot have two masters. As we live for Jesus, he empowers us to live the godly lives we were created to live. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16 and Hebrew chapter 12 verse 14. Thank you for watching my video. My next video will be Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. John chapter 14 verse 6. According to the Bible, how can it be Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life? We will discuss in my next video. So visit my next video also and please subscribe to my channel so that you'll get notified all my videos. Thank you. May God bless you.